This is the largest boombox in the entire world. And in case you're wondering if you follow the Calves channel, this is Canoe Carnival of 2023. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go follow Lou Calves channel. It explains everything. We did our best to make this look hyper-realistic with all the details in the 80s vibe. We even made giant batteries. Look at these. We also added a pencil and little mini cassettes. And yes, it actually works. Watch this. And in case you're wondering how long this took, well, this was actually around five to six months of planning and building. And we even have balloon disco balls, which I thought were really cool. And also, in case if you're wondering, this is what it looks like on the inside. Crazy, right? The speakers are made out of pools. And look at all these wires. On the side, we have giant music notes, and SOS is written out of pool noodles. We also had some extra decorations, like this blow-up boombox. We had also bought these bracelets for a fundraiser, which mine was set to pink, but you can actually change the color on these. Look at how cool that is. And what's even crazier is that this is all balancing on two canoes. And the backside of it, you can actually see all these pine trees that we added as well. Before, so I had to snack on something, so I ate some chocolate rice krispies that were in the shape of a boombox, and it was really good. After I was getting over being really nervous, we set out on the lake, and I became excited. We weren't only just gifted the bracelets, but we were gifted these as well. I was cheering so much because SOS had never really won a grand prize before. The first float group that came around was the Hardwick family, and their float was called Bad Company. It was a really cool campsite with a bunch of animals. I'm gonna give it an 8.2 out of 10. The next float group that came around was All Float On, and they named their float after their float group name. And I thought it was really cool. It was all things in town. I'm gonna give this one an 8.4 out of 10. The third float group that came around was OTR, and their float was called Rhapsody of the Sea. It was kind of like a combination of The Little Mermaid and Finding Nemo. I'm gonna give it an 8.3 out of 10. The fourth float that came around was What the Float, and their float was called Boston Paddler Party. It was a skit from the 1700s, and I'm gonna give it an 8.7 out of 10. The next float that came around was the Lions Club, and their float was Lions We Serve, Wild About Our Community. It was a cool Lion King float, because the play on words, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I thought it was pretty darn cool. I'm going to give it an 8.6 out of 10. This next one is one I know Brent TV would love. It was made by Nut and Butt Paddles, and they called it Bikini Bottoms. How fitting! Yeah, this one's awesome. I'm gonna give this one an 8.8 .8 out of 10. The next float group that came around was the Canoe Kids, and their float was called Fresh Kids of ML. It was a cool idea with a taxi and a spinning chair. Yeah, this was pretty cool. I'm gonna give this one an 8.6 out of 10. The next float that came around was Tipsy Canoers, and theirs was called Little Bitty Pretty One. It was a cool dragonfly float that kept changing colors. Yeah, this was pretty cool. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Hi. 
The next float that came around was just one more, and there's was How the Grinch Stole Canoe Carnival. Now, this was a float I know everyone was entertained by. Yeah, this was awesome. I'm going to give this one an 8.9 out of 10. After just one more came Scrub Pines, and theirs was pretty awesome. Theirs was called Kittery Love. Snow Wedding is definitely very creative. Yeah, this one's awesome. I would give this one a 9.3 out of 10. The next float group that came around was the MO Girl Scouts, and their float was called Philly Fun. It was a cool Eagles float, and I really enjoyed it because I'm a fan of the Eagles. I'm going to give this one an 8.7 out of 10. The next float was the non-competitive group. It was the ML Colony, and their float was the King and Queen's float. It's a traditional float every year, and it's a tradition that everyone loves. So I'm going to give this one an 8.8 .8 out of 10. The next float that came around was another traditional float. It was the Cub Scout Weeblows, and their float was called Arrow of Light. Now, this was actually a first in my lifetime that there was a Cub Scout float, which I thought was pretty cool. So for that, I'm going to give it an 8.7 out of 10. Are they the next float group that came around was the Mad Paddlers, and their float was called Shake It Off. It was a cool peacock float where its feathers open and closed. I thought this was pretty cool, so I'm going to give this one an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Now, what do you guys rate SOS's float? The results will be in tomorrow, guys. We'll see how we did.